So the third section is using warm colors in the foreground and cool colors in the background. And I have that section here ready to go. I have my monochromatic section where I have a large range of blues. And I have my value section where I have a full range from black to white, even though it's not quite finished yet. So um, neither of them are finished really. I wanna show you, I have my palette set up. I have my warm colors here. I have my cool colors here. I'll mix a little violet with red to cool down some of the reds it, to blend in with that background, probably around in the area, the darker shades in the paddle and in the kayak. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some washes and um, I probably won't have much sound, but again, I'm gonna work with purples and blues in the background here, and I'm gonna work with oranges, yellows, and reds, which are warm colors, through the foreground. Even though this palette, since it goes dark, is gonna be mainly with red, um, it'll have some warm highlights, and I'll have some cool tones that blend in with the background through here. Laying down a wash. So I have my larger brush and I'm gonna get some water down through here fairly quick. I'll be careful along these edges. my paper so that I can see it. Now since I have blues and I have purples or violets um, up here in the water, uh, there'll be a little bit of a match there. I think I'll go even bluer in this section um, to take it even cooler, but yes, there'll be some kind of blending between my um, blue my monochromatic and my um, cool color warm color so I'm going to work in close to my object but then I let these washes just kind of take off where I've wet the area. This is my larger brush. I'm kind of pushing it as far as getting up around the edges. But I can also get up around those edges more later. So let me grab more purple look. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, why didn't I go more blue, violet, in my blue family one well for one thing it just made it stand out more to go a little bit more violet than i might be doing here now another thing i'm noticing here is i don't have my waves indicated which is kind of a mistake and i have one here it's going to allow me to get have some tone here so I'm going to brush things out pretty light through here, push my dark tones up against my object so that I can come in and add uh, the waves. First step though is to get some nice even washes should really be an attempt to match the tones where they cross over. Now I know I'm not finished with this anyway, so I'll be able to match those. And I'll keep it pretty loose out here. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit more tone up against the kayak, and then I will start mixing my warm colors. A 
Okay, I'm going to come in with a little bit of yellow in the ore because that's the lightest area. So I even, not only do I have yellow, but I have my um, bright lemony yellow here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in here. And then I'll come in with the orange yellow along the edge. Okay. Now the kayak itself, I'm going to start off making it an orange. So I'm going to use my Brilliant Red. And I'm going to come over with my medium yellow here and try and mix up a good bit of an orange tone. And then I'll have to keep some of the highlights a little more yellow. So I'm going to get that mixed up here. I don't want to end up dropping a big blob of paint in there. So I have to make sure that it's mixed. Pull some more of this over. Oops. Leave that off. Again, I'm using my free white meat trays. I buy um, these chicken breasts and they're all wrapped up anyway. So these containers end up being great palettes. Okay, let's see. I'll start with my lighter tones first. So I'm gonna come in, here's my shadow side. Again, I've got my reference that I look at. Um, so I'm gonna come in here. Now I know I'm gonna go really red through there, so I might as well bring my orange all the way up through here. Got redder here, which I didn't want. And here my purple is still kind of wet, so I really should have waited a little bit here. But and wash this out and bring more of the yellow tones that are kind of getting mixed in. So I'm gonna come in here with that. So I've got my basics here and I'm just gonna start building on it. here and bring some of this red around. Oops, running into my, it's running into everything. So that's when I know I'm being a little bit too speedy. Now it's okay because I'm still at my smoothing out of these washes and they still look yellow enough that I'm going to be not have a problem uh, pulling out the highlights through here. A little bit more of an orange look. I have an orange kayak. Well, it's kind of tonal with yellows, oranges, and reds in it. I do enjoy kayaking. Very peaceful, great way to see nature. Now, orange and red here. I'm gonna go with mainly a red here and I'm gonna get some crimson in it. So let's see here. So I'm gonna get some darker tones over here and that edge will have to get cleaned up oops that I want to take care of right now a little bit and I have to work out these tones 